it's Megan. So today I've been on hormone replacement therapy for two years. It's so exciting. I'm like so happy. Like I'm almost mind blown at the changes I've gone through. So if you don't know, I'm transgender. So I started transitioning two years ago and it's been absolutely life changing for me. I don't have to deal with gender dysphoria so bad anymore. It's absolutely mind blowing how much I've changed already and I'm just only on two years on hormones. I can't wait to see what I'll look like on three years or four years. Like I keep getting more pretty and I keep loving my body more and more. So that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I can't believe I suffered with gender dysphoria so bad for so long and like lived in denial for years after I did realize I was trans. But like, I did grow up without the information. So it was like really damaging, like not knowing like why I was like suffering with gender dysphoria and not realizing what it was. So yeah, I'm so happy. I wish there were a lot more things I could afford, like getting more dresses and more clothes, heels and everything. I've been kind of struggling financially, like living paycheck to paycheck. So I'm going to get smart serve soon and try and find like another part-time job for the weekends or something just so I can like make a little bit of extra money where I can uh, not struggle and afford to get the things I want and save for my bottom surgery. So when I started transitioning, I was wearing a wig because I had really bad hair loss. Like it was pretty bad. So my hair's actually recovered a lot since I started finasteride in December of 2022. I wish I started the finasteride like the same time like I started transitioning. So happy Pride Month. I've noticed there's quite a number of corporations. They will put up rainbows on their logos and stuff like that during Pride Month. But then like other months, they literally support transphobia and anti-LGBT ideology and support those countries that suppress LGBT plus rights. So that's not right. And during Pride Month, like the far right are sharing the misinformation documentary called What is a Woman? It's like pure lies ignoring how there's like literally more to gender in nature. They don't care about the science of actual chromosomes. Like people seem to assume there's only like chromosomes for male and female, but like, there's more to it. Like intersex people exist and like the mind develops separately than the body. So like that misinformation film is not telling people that. So like notice like the mainstream media, the claim to support LGBT rights are not really supporting a trans filmmaker. So I made the sustainability documentary called Antimatter Future with real solutions that can make a difference to help heal our planet. And during Pride Month and during a climate crisis, the media is not talking about it. So like the media like to say that they support us. I'm a trans woman, a trans filmmaker. I made the sustainability documentary in 4K resolution. That's got like revolutionary science and information that can like drastically reduce the cost of living and heal our planet, make this planet a better place for everybody. And like the media is not telling people they're not doing their jobs. So like the media claim to support us, but then they won't actually like raise awareness about it, like a revolutionary documentary made by a trans woman. So they're not actually supporting us. Like Elon Musk, transphobic bully, like literally like now considers using cis a slur on Twitter. Cisgender has been used for like a long time to describe people who are like just born typical male or female. It would be really cool if people like instead of just saying that they support trans people like actually like subscribe and like my videos and like share the documentary Antimatter Future so we can like get more public support to like have like a better future for everybody. Like, I literally proved there's more to gender in nature in the documentary Antimatter Future. It's not just sustainability and space travel and stuff like that. There's more to it. 
I mean, it's not fair. People are, like, letting the far-right misinformation gain in popularity. And people aren't really actually supporting trans women like me actually debunking the misinformation. A lot of mainstream media will report news about bad things that happen to the LGBT plus community, like pride flags being burned and stuff like that, but they're not actually doing their jobs debunking the misinformation that these people are fueled by. So if this information was more popular, more people would not discriminate against trans people, like have some empathy.